Good evening and a very warm welcome to Nottingham here at the Jubilee Sports Centre. This is Bucks Big Weekend, a Big Wednesday, and this is powered by New Balance. We have got the men's final coming your way. As you can hear and see, it is incredible scenes at the Jubilee Sports Centre for this men's volleyball final. We've had three games here so far. And we're now culminating with the final game of this evening's competition. We have Team Essex taking on the home University of the University of Nottingham. And there we see the spectators in the crowd with the green and gold. But don't be fooled because Essex on the far side of the sports centre have brought their fans. And it's going to be a battle not only on the court but off the court. Who's going to make the most noises? Well, we're ready to go here. The referees are just getting to make their way onto the stand. And the referee seems to have pulled for the starting lineup for these two teams. So welcome to you, no matter where you're watching around the world, whether you're watching on a phone, tablet, all right, your computer, we've got players from England, Scotland, Canada, Cyprus, Greece, Brazil and the USA all here to entertain you for this Bucks Big Wednesday final game. We're going to get the players onto court as Brad Hope on the floor is just doing the introductions for the match. Making their way onto court then, first is going to be the team from the University of Essex. First of all, is their captain, Euro Fraser, the setter. Look out for the big swing of Aaron Chambers, with the number seven, the Badana. Max Nottel Steele, opposite player, and wearing number two. On comes number five, oh sorry, Max number five. Yusuf Butt, wearing number two. The middle player, Jacob Jones, the swinger on the outside, Jay Jones on the back of his shirt. And then in the middle, we've got Sabas Costantino. Two Libros for Essex, and it's Connor Reed, the starting Libro, wearing 15. He is the player in the colour shirt. Alex Porter has entrusted on defensive duties. Now we're going to welcome the home team here as the noise lifts. As we welcome out Adam Addy, the number 11, their setter. Ben Lucas, one of the England senior players, now playing his volleyball at the University of Nottingham. For Hardy through the middle, he's going to have a battle on with this tall Essex team today. Tristan. Santo, the opposite from USA, California, now flying a train, Nottingham, alongside Noah Golan, the number 10. So we know Golan and Ben Lucas on the outside. Fernandez comes on, wearing number three. He'll be one of your middle players as well, alongside Fahadi. And then Safai, the Brazilian. The real crowd pleaser, and he does live up to that name. We're all set to go here. The Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance. This is the men's final. This venue in Nottingham the University has been home to the multi-sport competition on the Buckfield Wednesday for quite a few years now and this University sure know how to put on a show the Nottingham supporters are silenced as Steve Smith's whistle blows and we get underway in this game here with Nottingham serving Ben Lucas with a big jump serve and starts the game with an ace serve The atmosphere is electric here, and what a way to start a championship match. 
with an ace serve from Ben Lucas. We've got friends and family in the crowd. They'll be watching on, cheering on. Another big swing from Lucas. Now it goes out wide. The first attack for Essex. Aaron Chambers expects to see a lot from the number seven. Has a really good hang time. Also shapes the ball really well. So when he sees the Nottingham block there, he's going to be working that ball, no doubt. Ewan Fraser to serve. Scottish player now down in Essex under the tutelage of Alex Porter. Fahadi next to serve as Fraser's serve goes long. Oh, it's an ace serve for Fahadi! Here we see the replay. Watch that float serve come across. Just confusing the defence and the pass. Another serve in. Overpass and killed from Nottingham. There we see Fraser not able to put a block up as he's the backcourt setter. And that's a three points Nottingham. They're leading by four points to one here. And then Fraser trying to force the ball out wide for Aaron Chambers. Hard to do so with that one handed set as a backcourt player. Obviously, can't reach over and do the second ball over. And then it's another wayward hit. So it's a blistering start for Nottingham. 6 1 the score now. Combination of pressure on the service line and unforced errors from Essex, forcing this five point gap to start with. That's a tip from Essex, but Golan has the opportunity to get the defence up, and he turns that into attack. Second chance of asking, and no, Golan puts it away, cross-court. Nearly back to his best after a long, long inside time on the injury, on the injury bench. And timeout is called. Nottingham leading by seven points to one. What a start. So words being spoken here for Alex Porter. There we see the bench. It's just an ordinary game, he says. Speaking to him earlier, keeping the boys focused on what the game in hand is. These two teams, Essex beat Northumbria. And at Newcastle men, by 3-0 and 3 sets to 1 in their build-up here to the final while Nottingham took out East London and Durham without losing a set, 3-0, 3-0. Got a pressure serve. Forcing a free ball for Nottingham. Lucas puts it in. And we'll try to bring the middle into play in Ruben Fernandez. On that free ball option. And it is the Cypriot, sorry, the Greek middle player, Constantino, who gets the, the block touch. And he goes to the right side. The American opposite, Santoyo, finds the seam of the block. Just squeezing him. Oh, it's a cracking ace. Satoyo just gives a little nod of approval. There we see the replay. They're targeting the 
a channel in between the two receivers and the lead rope. That corridor of uncertainty and it's dropping just short. So far Essex haven't got an answer for this yet. It's 9-2. Not the full purchase on it from Santoya this time. A tip from Essex to the back line it goes and then Lucas squeezes that through the block. The three-man block formed. But here we see on the re replay that gap in between the two. Constantino not really finishing his block off. And Nottingham lead by eight points. Momentum, the noise is all at Nottingham at the moment. That's a lovely set. Nice tight angle on the right side. Nice response for Essex. They're going to need more of that from Max Norton Steele. Another of the England seniors team. There's a, co a couple of the players on both sides here will know each other's game inside out. Here's another one of them, Noel Golden, with a huge swing. Cross court on the left hand side. If there's anything you can do, Max, I can do better. Pretty fair, Ben. The head coach not in there on the right hand side of your screen. Just giving instructions of where he wants No Golden to serve. Overpass. Flat ball out to Lucas off the hands. And the ball flies into the crowd. Another point the way of the green and gold. So we've got a substitution coming on. Ben Osborne comes on for Jacob Jones for Essex. Golden with a serve. That floating serve. You've got the angle of the camera there. Watch that ball move. Addy goes to the back line to no Golem. Oh, it's a great chase back. They're coming back inside the antenna. It's a great chase back, but the ball must come back outside of the antenna. And that's a 10 point gap now. This time an unforced error from Nottingham. Here's Team Essex. A slight chance to get himself back into this. They've not had any chance to really get time on the ball. Santoya from the back line, it's going to be. Ball pumped out wide for Essex. Can't get the kill down the centre from Fernandez. And then it's a big swing on the right hand side. There we see Norton Steele. Just has a quick look as that ball just sails long. It's a 10 point deficit. Blistering start. Fraser tries the one on two. Just to see if he can get Pat Nottingham off guard. And then Santoyo is back on the right hand side. Inside the block of Constantino. And pass has gone behind them. They have to chase it back, so it's going to be free balling. And he goes to the back line again on the right hand side. Well, the hit is good. And that's been called for a back line infringement. His foot was on the line. So, a free point going the way of the University of Essex. A much needed point. 
Addy pushes out wide. Lucas goes one on one. And at this level, Ben Lucas is one of the best in the business. Opens that shoulder up, cross court. Lucas against Fraser. Addy ooh, just clips the table and drops on this side. A real international affair. Seven countries around the world representing the two universities taking on this men's final. Powered by New Balance. Oh, Ben Lucas from the right side. He lands so calmly. Let's watch this replay. Beautiful set from Addy. The split of the block right through the seam. Aaron Chambers taking the line of the block. Ben Lucas seeing that. 17-6. Oh, Lucas going for another ace, but it's just long. He would have put it past him the way he's playing today. These two teams have not met in the books competitions this season. New opposition. It's a fresh face to play against. And a lot of these representing home nations will know each other's games. And we can guarantee that Alex Porter and Freddie Fairbairn have been studying. And put this game plan together. Alex calmly watching from the sidelines. Watch that ball sail wide on the attack. And signals the referee for a second time out. 19-7. Quite a start, a blistering start for the home team. The noise is mind-blowing here. Essex fans are doing what they can to match the noise of the green and gold with their clappers, the horns. The parents are bringing the drums. And the boys on court are bringing the guns as Nottingham are outscoring Essex in a huge way in this first set. If this is how Nottingham play when their supporters on the, are on the far side, just imagine what they'll be like when they play on that side. Essex will be also in front of their crowd. Hopefully that will give them something to cheer about. Ben Lucas. Oh, into the, back, into the line from the back. Just hits the tape from the pipe attack. Puts his hands up to Addy. Knows that was an error from him. Now the Canadian Aaron Chambers. Studying psychology. He needs some of his expertise in the timeouts and end of sets. Osborne lines up. And the attack goes on the right-hand side. Can't get over the block of Osborne. Osborne's come on for Jack, Jacob Jones. Has no chance to really settle into the game. He has calmed the pass down. But Santoyo has the height advantage over Osborne. So 28 is the score. Clear with a jump serve. Hard down the line. Oh, double contact called for Essex. There's another point going the way. Well, the University of Nottingham. The vibrations in the arena here are telling me that we're just four points away from this first set. This is a best of five. So 
First four set, should we need them, will be to 25. The last set, if it does go to the deciding set, in the race to 15. Yusuf Buck with the serve. A nice block on Santoyo. And the attack just squeezing inside the block, dropping down. Off the hands from Aaron Chambers. Fernandez on the middle attack, can't oh, get the kill. Oh, Gol has a free chance to hit, but it hits the tape. Freddie asking, those hands are over. No need though. Point goes the way of Nottingham. Alex Porter putting his hands up. Calling that one out. The referee has said no. That ball is good. It's 22 10. Back serve from Golan. So it's the Greek. Zabas. Osantino. Get the kill down the middle. And it's just starting to show what they're about now. They slow the scoring down from Nottingham and now getting points on their serve. Once they get run that middle. Oh, Lucas one and one. Shots inside and down the line. Nothing Essex can do about that. It's a case of taking stock now. Get themselves some time on the with the ball on their serve. Osborne gets a touch off the block. No, says the referee. The referee's pointed to Nottingham. You and Fraser goes over. Oh, it's hard to tell. Essex confident. Unfortunately, it's not like international volleyball. No. Video challenges here. Constantino trying to calm the team down. Next point, they say it is set point. Oh, almost the ace. Another chance for Essex. There's a free ball. And then it's Lucas for the set. 25 11. A huge swing from the England senior Ben Lucas down the line rattling off the leg of Matt Norton Steel and Nottingham lead this Bucks Big Wednesday powered by Newland New Balance men's championship final by one set to nil 25-11the Jubilee Sports Centre here as the crowd are rocking 
Essex are going to need to do something from a crowd perspective to get behind their team. They've just watched their first set go against them 25-11. Quite the start. All began with that ace serve from Ben Lucas. Pretty fair, Ben. We'll be happy with where they're at, but we'll be looking also knowing that Essex has just started to pull themselves back into that set towards the end. And we'll know that they've got the experience of Alex Porter and the players around them to use. So what do the coaches say here? Pretty fair, Ben. Won't sit back on that first set success. Alex Porter knows he'll be after more. Better passing coming in. Better control. And they show glimpses towards the end. Once Fraser gets that ball in, he's in system. He's been able to bring the middles into play for Essex, and that's what they're going to need to do. Once they start doing that, it does mean the block from Nottingham is going to be stretched. And that's where the likes of Chambers is going to be taking on. And getting some gaps in the block, even getting one-on-ones. So still a full crowd here at the Jubilee Sports Centre, where the volleyball has been part of Bucks Big Wednesday for the last few years. And the noise erupts here as we get ready for set number two. Yo. Spectators are now on the same side as their team. It's be Fraser to serve. He's going to appear on the bottom right of your screen in a moment. Peter just getting the lineup sorted. So Osborne stays on for Jacob Jones. So no changes to the end of the first set for Essex. Same lineup for Nottingham University as well. And Chambers gets the first attack, but it's a shutout block. This Antonio, he goes straight in to his crowd. His people on his court. First point from California. From California to Nottingham. Huge block. Tristan Santoya back to serve. Great ball in. From Ponary, the lead rope. And attack down the centre. This time from Yusuf Butt. That could be a key matchup. How the middles now attack. And that ball comes in. Connor Reeve. And a lovely ball in. Chambers goes cross court. He's got Santoyo on the opposite options for Addy. With Golan out wide at four. Matt Scott is steal on the right side. Off the hands. Essex lead for the first time this game, 2-1. Porter looking cool and calm on the touch lines. Exactly the same place for Chambers cross court. Little tip for Fernandez. Now it's going to be chased back all the way to the edge of the court. Essex can't do anything about that. The game's all level. It's a little tip from Fernandez. Push deep over the head of Connor Even. Just get a fingertip to it. Not quite enough. Uh, pretty fair, Ben. Just giving his instructions to No Golan. Waits the referee signal. Float serve again in between Osborne and Reeve. Oh, an error from Ben Lucas.
who's lost in the crowd, a bit of a giggle for his dad. I'm sure his dad will be showing that on replay at some point. Not that we've ever seen Mr. Lucas do that before. So, but has the serve as Essex lead by one. Lopes serve leading away into the net. Reeve comes back on. As Reeve comes back on, so does Fahadi on the front court for Nottingham. Fernandez goes back to serve. from South West London now studying physiotherapy here in Nottingham does it has his serve it's a lovely swing from the Canadian Aaron Chambers this is the battle we wanted to see Essex they've got themselves Underway here in set number two. Max Norton still with the jump serve. Santoya with the backcourt attack. Fraser also goes to the back line to Chambers. Too hot to handle for Santoyo. Canada versus USA. And now Essex lead by two. They've set their intentions. They've shown what they're about. Max Norton steal. Ben Lucas off the hand. Off Costantino. And this time it's the service error from Addy. Frustrations are they know they've got to make those serves count, they've got to put the pressure on, and that's what served them well in the first set. The Ben Osborne coming on. Plays both indoor and beach, represented England. Let's come on for Jacob Jones. With a big serve, that's a huge swing. Santoyo just the showcase celebration just stands there and watches that ball. Here's the replay. Monster swing down the line. Just incredible to see. Lucas it is on the serve. No, he's capable of the big swings on the service. Gets it but straight into Reeves' arms. And then Chambers with a swing. Oh, next up has been given. Oh, that's a tight ball. It was a great take on the defense of Chambers. Oh, he's saying that Fahadi has caught the bottom of the net with his hand. Couldn't really tell from the replay. Instinctive decision. Fernandez automatically said he didn't. Was it? Great defense to start with off the attack from Aaron Chambers. But it was also a great passenger play for Essex. They have to defend now. Santu rolls the ball into the centre. Chambers off the hands. Had he has options, he goes out to Gollan. Brought inside off the hands. But it's a net violation this time for Essex. Will wipe off the block. No matter what. The point goes the way of Nottingham. They're back within a one-point game now. 6-7. Reeve really controlling that. Well read there from no Golden. Ewan Fraser forced tight to the net. Goes the second ball over. Makes it a little bit obvious. With it being tight. Just turned his shoulders around. That's not the way he would normally set. No goal and read that well. And then Osborne takes that serve to the shoulder. 
Chambers tries to shake the ball down the line. He's capable of doing that with his height. A 3.45 as the spike reach. He does roll his hand if he's brought inside. If he can't power it, he will cut across the ball, but this time too much. The ball moved out too far wide on the left-hand side. Another attack not put up for Essex. And then a wipe off for no goal in. When that serve receive doesn't come in, when they're not in system, Essex has struggled to put that attack up. Exactly the centre of the butt, nice little tip. Oh, it's picked up high, free ball now. Refires it into Fraser, Fraser goes back to butt. Second time of asking. No ifs, just a butt. That's the point for Essex. Nice shape on this swing from butt, see the block. Let's the ball come across him, fires it down the left hand side. So, Ewan Fraser, Scottish international, back to serve. And Bond taking that ball just looks like it was going out. And then Santoyo set not quite wide enough for him, having to come inside, dropping his shoulder. So, Essex level again, 9 9. Addy out of system, has to go wide to Golan. That ball goes off the arms of Reeve into the Nottingham supporters. And it's Nottingham who regained the lead here in the second set. 10 9. The big swing from No Golan. There's Reeve in again. Better pass in for Fraser. Max to steal. Couldn't do anything about it. Having to reach his left hand. That is the green and gold. That would be a point that Essex know they need to change. And Toyo. He's been dangerous on both left and right side. At the front, but there's a massive foot fault on the serve. A little bit too aggressive. And he's got the whole of the sports centre cheering his name as he goes to serve. Momentum's with him. We go from California to Canada now as Chambers comes in with the serve. But his is an error as well. The intensity hasn't dropped here at the Jubilee Sports Centre. Well, help ball called by the referee on that serve receipt from Osborne. The referee saying it was in his hands too long before he's released it, so a serve goes no Golan. Can they target Osborne again? Addy has the options. He goes to Lucas. Off the hand. Chambers is inside of the court. Not deep enough to get the deflection. Jacob Jones comes back on for Osborne. Osborne did well when he first came on towards that first set and they start the second set, but they just start to pick up on the serve. They'll go straight to Jacob Jones, and that's again another pass that puts them out of systems. They can't get an attack on. Oh, Addy trying to create the shoot attack from short, and they're going to regret that. Jacob Jones comes on, makes amends for the poor pass, and pulls that ball cross court. Freddie Fairbairn. Instantly calling for a timeout, calling his team in. He's got a message he wants to put across. They are leading by 14 points 11. 
Essex was strong at the start of the second set. And now, Nottingham just starting to get themselves back in it, forcing the errors. When they put the pressure on that serve, that's when they've had the opportunities to really apply the pressure. When Essex put that free ball over, Nottingham quick to attack. That's the viewpoint of the Nottingham team, of their opposition through the net, as they're looking on, taking on board. So 11-14, but with the serve, Lucas shapes up, goes high to Andrew Chambers, Max Norton steal, just behind the scorer's head, can't quite bring it back. Bit of a miracle shot to be able to make. Porter to get our first point back from the timeout. They're leading 15 11. Fernandez with the serve. Better ball in for Fraser. Now has options off the fingertips. But it lands in anyway for Jacob Jones. The perfect start for him. Two from two in this second set on his attack. Gareth Max also still back to serve. Addy with the set, finds the middle. For Hardy. Doesn't get the power on it, but... It was the tip of the fingers. That ball almost had backspin. No matter what, the ball dropped just inside the court. And the arms are reeved. We would have to be Superman there to be able to pick that ball up. Oh, it's an ace for Addy down the line. Both Chambers and Jones ducking out of it. A float serve just dropping well inside the court. While Jones has been lethal with his attacks. He just can't give away these three points to Nottingham like that. Oh, that's better from Fraser. Quick thinking. And he's asking whether his hands were over the net. The ball was over the net and he played it. It was a quick ball in from Constantino. The ball was served short. And then Fraser very quickly, almost in the three and a half position. Picked the right option this time. Nottingham will have no complaints. If they watch that back again. Very quick play from the Scottish setup. This time, Fahadi uh, gets the swing. Flat hit. It's another huge ace. That is just pure power. The best of British, Ben Lucas. Another ace to his tally. Almost. nerve-wracking watching if you're a friend a family member whether you're watching at home or here in the crowd this stream going live around the world we hope you're enjoying the coverage of this bucks big wednesday powered by new balance this is the men's championship final and that is a huge backcourt swing from ben lucas right on the line Approaches from nowhere. And then ultimate power in the arm. Hides from that jump. We all wish we could jump that high to be fair. 
Reeve gets the ball in this time. The options available for Essex. That's great from Essex. Really good from Essex. When that ball is in play, Fraser has all the options, and that's where the block can be split. So it's a Scott back to serve. That's a nice serve. Addy forcing that set. Call for a double contact, quite rightly so. Takes something special to be able to twist your body, get his hands in the right place, and force that to a backcourt set. Worth well, the effort when you're five points up, and now you're only four to see this game out. Jacob Jones fires. Sorry, Ewan Fraser fires long with his serve. Santoyo goes back now for Nottingham. His team just require four points for a 2-0 lead in his championship final. Chambers with the tip. Well read from Fernandez. And then Chambers goes hard. Nothing for Fernandez, Fernandez could do about that. Nice variety from Chambers. Good selection from Fraser. Medium back to serve. And white sleeves and white bandana. That's a nice serve. Gollum puts the ball up to Addy. He delivers it back. And that ball splits the legs of Reeve for another side out for the green and gold of Nottingham. After that strong early spell in the second set, it's been Nottingham that have just taken control but have applied the pressure. Adriel Story can pass the ball in. We have the options. Oh, it's an ace serve. Or as good as an ace, it does get a third touch. Essex just have not really had an answer the pressure of the serve that Nottingham applied. There you see the stack on the serving over the stack of the block. Chambers goes from the back line, off the hands of Fernandez, couldn't get the press on the block. Clever play from the Canadian. Yusuf Buck goes back to serve. Captain Scotland, when he was at 15, Plays alongside Ewan Fraser. I guess the same response from his serve as Fraser did with the service error. And that gives set point here in the second set with the score 24 18 at the University of Nottingham. Incredible scenes at uh, Jubilee Sports Centre. Fernandez with the serve again. They can't get an attack on it, the hit goes long from the back line, nothing Chambers can do about it, off balance, couldn't keep the ball in, it is the second set, 25-18, University of Nottingham leading this men's championship final by two sets to zero. Well the scenes here are incredible and we look forward to bringing you set number three very shortly.
Welcome back to Nottingham. Welcome back to Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance. Oh, I don't know what this Nottingham volleyball team are powered by, but they are firing on all cylinders here today. Leading by two sets to nil. First set, 25-11. Not letting Essex get a look in. Second set, Essex did lead in the very early stages. And then the pressure from the serve, which is too much to ask. The power and precision of the attackers. Adam Addy is getting all his players some time on the ball. Bring the middles into play. Essex will be looking for a response. Alex Porter will be demanding his high standards as ever. It's whether they can deliver that. Back to basics on this serve received. Once that ball comes in, that's when Essex have been good. But as soon as Fraser's are out of the system, just running out of options. Got Simon Loftus, the England senior coach, looking down on these two teams. Try to see if we can grab him on the comms shortly. We'll get his view and opinion on the game so far. But the two teams are making their way back onto court here. While this game might not be at the Dave Ross Sports Village, it is the hottest ticket in town, as always, at All Buck Big Wednesday. It's a sellout crowd for the Jubilee Sports Centre. And quite rightly so. Fourth game of a long, long day. And this is what it comes down to. Two teams head to head. Six on court. Who is going to take the Bucks Big Wednesday Championship Final? We get underway. It is Ben Lucas with the serve. The ace machine starts us off with another ace. It's an ace best for Ben Lucas. He's even made his dad smile. That takes something. No offense, Clayton, if you do watch his back. Lucas again from the service line. Can't make another one count though. On the net. You and Fraser. Looks to apply the pressure. They've got the Nottingham supporters breathing down their necks on the side of the court. Good pressure serve between the scenes. Now a free ball option available. Fraser goes to Chambers. Chambers shakes the ball down the line. Good defense from Addy. Can't quite take the power out of it enough. Just sails over between the antenna and Steve Smith, the first referee. That's where Chambers can shake the ball really nicely down the line. Addy read it well. Essex lead 2 1. Better ball in. Golden gets the receive back. Overpass. Ooh. Confusion at the net. And then pulled back rashly from Gollum. Big opportunity missed for Nottingham there. That ball drifted over the net. Should have really been put away. It's that dangerous one where it just clips the tape. Obviously, you can't reach over until the ball's on your side either. Ray's getting confident with that jump serve now. Back court. A thing of beauty from Ben Lucas. And he knows where he is. Hang time. Fernando, uh, uh, Fahadi with a float serve. Can't get back into position and hold off the power of the attack through four from Essex. Now, Chambers will be looking to get a run of serves, just as Fraser did, just to pull away. They lead by four points to two, very similar to the second set. Can they extend that lead? They can't, because Ruben Fernandez squeezes that ball through the middle. 
Fraser just having a quick chat with the referee. Look at whether Fernandez actually hit it or is it tip or a push. No matter what it was, the point went to Nottingham. And Santoyo goes straight into the arms of Chambers. They run the middle. But somehow has got a touch. The first referee has called the touch off the block. Well, that's a free point going the way for Essex. Addy having a chat with the first referee. Essex fans should be looking happy at that. They've got the point. They lead by 5-3. Use of foot with the serve. He goes 5-5. Five five. On the angle. Oh, Collins got the line wide open. There's only so much room Fraser can cover. That nasty injury. It's great to see. This young man almost back to his best. Firing at all cylinders. Pairing up with Ben Lucas. Quite a combination of attackers they have outside on the left for them. Incorporate the rest of the players they've got in this squad. And they've closed the gap to five points all in this third set, leading by two sets to zero in this championship final. Now a golden float serve, hits the tape, goes out to Jacob Jones, who squeezes through the block. Fernandez knows as soon as he's landed, he wasn't close enough to Addy. That seam was found. The defence are lining up face on that block. The ball comes through it, there's nothing they can do. 6 5. Max Norton Steele comes up. Big top turn serve. Addy the jump set. Lucas goes cross court into the hands. Of Savas. Has to go out to Lucas again. And he goes off the block and out of play. Well, the block was there for him to hit. And he hit it. Hit it hard. Fernandez goes back to serve. Again. Had a system. Has to be forced. It's a huge block from Fahadi. But they get the chance back. Santoya from the back line. And then Chambers just sneaks in from Essex. On that backcourt attack. It's not a power one, but it's a clever place to attack. High to the hands of Fernandez. 7-6, team's trading point for point, Jones goes to serve. Golan straight into the hands of the block, but just squeezes it inside. That's the Greek arms over the ball, but just stuck inside. Savas knows he needed to press more, didn't give him the options. Now it's a setter for Nottingham going back to serve. Adam Addy. Fraser runs the middle option as a reverse. Oh, Addy can't quite get there off the deflection off the block. Eight seven. Constantino with the serve and he's got options he goes flat to the American Santoyo he goes one on one cross court he 
Joseph, but doing what he could to get there, but that been a free ball option. Lucas with another big one, but this one sails. Way long at the baseline. Will Hard will go home, he says. Razor goes hard on the serve. Every error made, every point scored for both Nottingham and Essex. The crowd are on their feet, cheering them on. All square, nine all. High angle. Oh, it's an incredible angle. Chambers putting that ball inside from the right to the left. You'll see the replay here. Starts way outside. Inside the three metre line. Tight angle. That's what you can do when you've got a 345 spike reach. Off the hands of Ionu. Fraser goes again to Max Norton Steele on the right hand side. Fernandez couldn't get across, one on one. Norton Steele puts that ball deep. And now it's 11 9. Santoyo goes, clever play. The set was quite tight inside the three meter line for the backcourt player. So couldn't quite get the attack on it. But saw the hands there. So those hands are there flat. There you see, just pushing off. Goes the gap to one. Errors on the serve for Nottingham. It's the serving that has been the critical part of Essex has struggled with these float serves. You have to see if that changes up anything. Use of foot with the serve. It's out of system. And he goes for the hit. Of the setters club. Oh, that's lovely work from Jürgen Fraser to find the middle. Constantino. He has a nice tight angle. Quick reactions from Constantino. Had to do a full 360. Two step in. Third and hit. Now the first time. Essex have led by three. Can they make it count? Oh, they can with a big block. There is the Greek medal again. And that forces Freddie Fairbairn to call for a timeout. Down by four in the third set. 10-14. The Essex deserve it. And they've earned this work in this third set. Applying the pressure. Alex Chidri talking to the team from Essex while Alex Porter has a quick chat with his setup. Fred Fairbairn finishes his team talk. The noise, deafening in the Jubilee Sports Centre. <laughs> Dolan has to do a tight angle, uses his left hand to bring it inside the antenna. Flat set for Jacob Jones, overpass. Now a chance for Essex. Oh! I get the middle running again. Oh!
Van Lucas with a wild swing from the back line. Not the cleanest of points we're going to see this game. Five points now, the deficit. Use of foot. Serves. And that's that 5 5 serve. Fernandez down the middle. Always the Essex blockers forgetting about their middle. As we have the danger man of Ben Lucas outside. That gives Fernandez the opportunity. This is where Moscow needs to apply the pressure. Get some serves in, put the pressure on their receive. Norton Steele having to adjust there. Set's not quite right for him. Oh, but the block was absolutely perfect. There we see, being brought inside so couldn't get the attack. But he lined up Ben Lucas perfectly. Sixteen eleven. Now Norton Steele goes back to serve. Oh. Ben just seems to have an hour in the air then. He just waited mid-air, had a quick look, thought, you know what? I'll get down the line. Serious hang time. Fernandez float serve. Much better pressure from Nottingham this time. That ball tight on. Jacob Jones. Yeah, it's a tip over it, but for Hardy, fortunately, takes the ball. Probably not his ball to take. What needs a call from his defenders? Would it come off the play inside the three-meter line? I apologise for Hardy. Quick reactions at the net it was. So went out of play, point to Essex. Lucas getting caught. On the net, on the way down, the ball was still alive. See the angle here. Oh, the ball contracts out of play just as he landed on his side, just brushing into the net. And that's another timeout called. Six points to lead here. Errors from Nottingham, but more pressure play from Essex. They're starting to get themselves into this game now. And they start to apply the pressure. You see this a lot when one team goes 2 0 up. It's still all to play for. To win the championship, you've got to play and beat the best. Well, between these two teams, they've taken out East London, Durham, Northumbria and Newcastle to be here today. And Essex with another shutout block. Savas and Chambers side by side, hand by hand. 19-12. It's a nice swing, cross court. Essex hoping the ball was going out. No such luck. Adam Andy goes float serve. Hi to Jacob Jones. That's not a steal. It's a big hit from Santoyo off the hand. That relationship between Fraser and Max to steal. Not quite running as smooth as they had hoped. 
Northfield Hamford just into his run up, it's a little bit too late to get the attacks. Oh, Fraser is read by Lucas. There we see. Ben doing really well just to hold his hands flat to the net, not to reach over. Getting the ball tight to the net, out wide to Chambers, great spot, really good spot. And he was flat footed on the defence, and he knows it. Great play from the Canadian. Now, Constantinople has been a crucial part of Essex in this third set. Can't apply the pressure from the service line. And that big swing from Santoyo. Four points down. Nottingham. They are serving. Lucas goes for that ace. Oh, it's just wide. It was just moving away at the last minute. It's three of his last serves. Of course, he's not scored from. Fraser opts to go for the float serve instead of the top spin. Net touch against Essex. Drag the elbows onto the net. Hardy to serve for Nottingham. The defence from Nottingham, but then the wild swing from Santoyo. The claim and the touch. No touch is being given here. Referee just asking the captain Adam Addy to come over and have a chat, explaining his decision and why he's gone on that, on that decision. Even if a line person does make a signal, he has the power to overall if he believes that is the correct decision. And that's what he chose to do. 22 17, three points required for Essex. Get himself a foothold in this game. But Santoyo goes hard cross court on the right hand side. Essex just needs a side out. For Team Essex. Nice ball in from Chambers. Runs the backcourt option, but no block given against him on the backcourt attack. Not the side out they were looking for. Nineteen twenty-two. Most of the Nottingham supporters now standing as they watch their team. Can they get themselves back in for the chance? Oh. We'll put that down to a, a training serve, I think. We'll call that one. Not one for the show reel for Santoyo. Home run scored. 23-19, two required for Essex. It's Butt back to serve. Oh, and he's put pressure on. And it's going to be a free ball coming for Essex. Will they run the middle? They do. And they get the point from Constantino. Now they have set point. To get themselves back into this game. They have five set points.
or couldn't quite finish it in the style he wanted. So, service error. Nottingham now need to serve hard and put pressure on their defence. Pretty fair Ben there, just signalling where he wants Mel Goldman to serve. Flat float serve to five. Into the hands of Jacob Jones. Max Norton Steele with a wayward swing to the left. Gives the glimmer of hope to Nottingham. Could they see out five set points and turn this set around? It's been done before. Golden again goes to five. Off down to make an only tip. And he takes the first ball, so no set. Oh, it's a great block from Jacob Jones. And that is it. The third set goes the way of University of Essex, 25-21. This game is going to continue for a while. Much better performance from Essex. They've earned those 25 points. They force the pressure, force the errors on Nottingham. Nottingham now know they've got a game on their hands. It is University of Nottingham 2, University of Essex 1 here on the Bucks. Big Wednesday Men's Championship Final, powered by New Balance. Well, I hope whatever you're drinking, you've just refilled it. I hope you settle down, no matter where you are in the world, watching this men's championship final. We are going into the fourth set. Essex taking at set number three, 25-21. Keep this game alive. But the University of Nottingham here at the GP Sports Centre in Nottingham still have the slight advantage. Essex have just started to find their form. They know what's required of them. Conversations going on in the Team Essex camp. Same lineup for Essex. Jacob Jones stays on for Ben Osborne. No changes for the University of Nottingham. So Christian Ayano comes on as Libro as he did in the third set, wearing number 10 for the University of Essex, just to shore up this defence. Safari, so let's get the crowd going as we get this game underway. The first point goes with a hit off the block from No Golan. Golden taking that ball high on the volley. Flat into Adam Addy. Still able to get the distribution out wide. Santoyo. 
slightly quieter set for the American in set number three. Matt's got to steal much better this time on the left hand side. And we haven't seen the best yet of Matt's not to steal from an attacking point of view. He's crucial in a couple of shutouts in set number three and then good pressure on the serve from Essex Chambers just mouthing to the team members that was going out I think Noel Golden probably knows that as well to be fair it's one of those ones though it can drop we saw that happen to Essex Yeah, Brock Cables are probably turned to his teammates now and say, yeah, that one went out. <laughs> Has a little click to their fingers. <laughs> so all square, two all in the fourth set. No goal in. There's five to five again, that flat serve. Max Norton still brought inside, can't get the attack, finds the block. Oh. Never a nice one. That's more of a set. That middle would perform, no offense to middles. So the ball, a little bit slippy there. Fraser trying to force the ball over. Often, oh, you'll see that. Oh, it's an ace serve. That ball dropping short from no golem on Christian Ayanu. The Cypriot Libro just lost sight of that ball as it dropped dangerously before him right in the middle of the court now it's going to be a free ball for Nottingham and he goes to his opposite now swings out to Lucas off the hand but couldn't get himself in the right place from the left hand side to the right hand side he's worked hard from the middle couldn't get the block in Lord of Steel tried to reach over to do what he could Early three-point advantage for Nottingham. They've come out firing. Pressure on the serve. Ewan Fraser do what he can to keep that ball in, but the ball was over the net while Fraser had the ball in his hand. Ben Lucas has a quick chat with Matt Norton Steel. That's a great start if you're a green and gold fan. 6-2 in this fourth set. Conversations. Porter not happy with the serve received. They were better in set number three. But they've given away the points now as the battle in the crowd goes on between Essex and Nottingham. The red versus green. Drum versus drum. Horn versus horn. Everybody's got it all here. No, Golden's parents, instrumental in the, the noise behind the scenes here at Nottingham. A little tip from Butt on the right hand side. Golden on the back line. Gets the crowd on their feet. And the crowd sent something happening here with a five point advantage early on. 7 2. Colin goes flat again. Norton Steel. It is a shutout block. He had to come inside a little bit. It was a poor pass in again from the float serve. Pulled back by Fraser. And then Lucas up there. Just had enough to bring it back into court. Osborne comes back on for Luke, uh, for Jacob Jones. Expect No Golan to find him, which he does. Fraser's out of position, forcing the attack from Chambers on the back line. It's all going wrong at the moment for Essex. It's his first ball in. They didn't have this issue in the third set. The Nottingham was serving harder. 
Now they're serving Smart. Golan again with an ace. He shakes up this time. He brought it into the middle, dropping it to the right hand side of Ayanu as the Libro. He's been served short a few times. And a second time out now for Alex Porter. Eight points of difference. This is almost a replay of the first set in the championship final. Nottingham have just turned the screw on this third. They've got their range back in. They're putting the pressure on the University of Essex serving reception team. Now that's Alex Porter's second time out already, and it's only 10-2. He's made one substitution in Jacob Jones coming off, but Ben Bosborn going on. It's now down to these men on court and any of the changes Alex make to keep this championship alive. Much better ball in this time. And Osborne gets the kill inside the block. Really important point. But this time opting to serve for the right hand side, so change of angle for his serve. He's been serving most of the game on the left hand side. Had he forced to come all the way out. Lucas just keeps the ball alive. Max Dawson steal, gets the hands all oh, quick up. Pasifai. Oh, error from Ben Lucas. Almost a little bit too casual. But switches the serve up against the left hand side. Ruben Fernandez with the serve. Floats against Osborne. Max Orton steal forces that long set. Oh, great dive from No Golan. It's a free ball though for Essex. Runs the middle. No goes. Oh, oh goes North and steal. And it's a monster block from Ben Lucas. One on one. You'd say he's outmatched on the high, but when Ben Lucas is in the air, just watch his height, his press. He was all over that. Incredible block. Fernandez again. They're serving tough. Oh, that'd be the commentator's curse. They were serving tough. Fernandez fires into the net. Brief respite on the serve received. Now, here comes the tactical change for the University of Essex. Norton Steele's going to go off, and Grammersdorf, the Cypriot setter, is going to come on. Wearing number 12. And Alvin Renner wearing number 20 now coming on as opposite. So now Essex have a set of backcourt, three front court attackers. So this is traditional double switch. Well, no matter what the double switch is, Santoyo says, give me the ball out here in the opposite position, let me show you what I can do. You can put any players you like on court. Addy playing with a smile on his face, the setter and captain of the University of Nottingham. 13-5, they lead. Better ball in this time. And another block from Ben Lucas. And it's given us out. The lines are signaled out. The lines are signaled out. The referee is going with that decision. Freddie Fairbairn, angry at that decision. He's not happy. Remonstrating. 
He's actually giving a yellow card to the University of Nottingham head coach. This is where Palm now needs to set in. Adam Addy, once he finishes with the referee, needs to sort his team out, needs to calm it down. It's one point, it's one decision. They do not want it to let him to affect this game. Freddie Fairbairn just got slightly calmed down a little bit on the sideline. He's not happy with that decision. The referee choosing to go with the line person. That's what they're there for. So 5-13. Osborne with a serve. Oh, it's long. That's the last thing that University of Essex wanted to do when they had University of Nottingham riled up is to give away a free point. And now he hasn't had a serve in for a while. A few rotations in the last set. They were in the net or out. Can the big serve of Ben Lucas get on point? Oh, it can! It's an ace serve, it's off the tape! There was a sigh of relief for him as he landed and saw that ball hit the tape and just roll over. Oh, when his dad does commentary, he says that's a sorry, not sorry. Well, I'm sure his dad in the crowd will not be saying anything to his sorry here. He'll be saying, go on, son, do it again. 15-5. Nottingham lead. Lucas again hits the tape. And it's a hit and error. Essex looking for a net touch, but it's not been given on the block. The hit goes long. And that's the first hit for Aldrin Renner. And it's a long hit. So Lucas back again. Two serves, two times hitting the net, third time hitting the net, but this one way too low to roll over. We may not see another Ben Lucas top 10 jump serve in this game if University of Nottingham can side this out. So, Fraser back on. Interesting tactic now, having the two setters on. Using Grungdorf on that rotation. So he's got Fraser hitting. Sorry, I apologise. Fraser's coming on to hit. And Fraser goes for the hit. Fraser playing opposite. Grammersdorf. Number 12, who's come on that double substitution now. Stays on as setter. 18 at 6. For Hardy with a serve. Drops it short into Osborne. Chambers off the hand. Lucas can just control it over his head. Oh, that's lovely play from Nottingham. No, going with a nice tight angle against Freddie Fairbairn smiling again. That yellow card's long gone and forgotten about now. Great chase back from Lucas early on. And then ball nice and deep. And then ball sound wide. Tight angle from no Golan. Fraser with a big swing. Oh, Golan gets shut out by Yusuf Butt. He went hard. But he went straight into the brick wall of Yusuf Butt. Reeve back on for Ayanu on receiving duties. 7-19. It is a tough task now for University of Essex. But they've got to score points on this run of serves. There's one. The hit from the back line from Ben Lucas, sails long, didn't get his hand over it. He is human after all. Fraser. Through spell off in this fourth set, now playing the opposite position serves. Santoyo goes off the block and out of play. The referee says, yep, yeah, you touched it. 
Seamus tried to claim he didn't. Here we see the replay. Yeah. Off the hand and then on the antenna. So five required for the championship. Santoyo makes it four required with an ace serve. Here's his little finger, he says. Another ace. That defense between Chambers and Reeve. That corridor of uncertainty. The panic channel. He's looking for it again. 21 8. He finds it again. It's another race. Splits Reeve and Chambers. Incredible serve from Santoyo. Two in a row. Incredible power from Tristan Santoyo. Two aces. He goes for number three, but gets too much on it. The cheers of the Essex crowd are asking how far out that was. This far, they say. Well, they just need it to go out. 9.22. How do you do what he can on the overpass from Lucas? He puts his hand up straight away. Double figures for the University of Essex. Chambers goes tight across. But the touch on the feet of Freddie Fairbairn before it lands. You know that's well out of court. And that just means that University of Nottingham required two points to take the Bucks Big Wednesday Championship Final here at the Jubilee, Jubilee Sports Centre. They go to Osborne. Oh, it's an error from James. He fell away to his left-hand side. It is now set, match and championship point here. The crowd are on their feet. The noise is deafening. And it is 14 match points for the home team of University of Nottingham. They go against Osborne. It's a tip shot roll over. Opportunity over on two. The setter does it. Adam Addy, the captain, takes the point. 25-10. Your champions by three sets to one. Are oh, the University of Nottingham. What a cheeky little point that was to win it on as well. One for the setters club. He had a quick look, a real split second, saw the middle of the court open and found the hole. Adam Addy, the captain, with the winning point. Commiserations to the University of Essex. And congratulations to your champions. And here we see again the final point. Addy has a quick look, drops that shoulder. And into the middle it goes, the crowd elated, the players exuberant, the University of Nottingham are oh, the Bucks Big Wednesday Championship Finals. Congratulations to the green and gold. Big cheers from Nottingham. Well, they were just too strong. They put too much pressure on the serve. And they earned that title with hard work and pressure. Commiserations to the University of Essex. Once they got their game up and running, that pass coming in, especially in that third set, they showed what they were capable of. Raw emotions being shown there from Chambers and Constantino as Essex just out your screen get into the huddle as Alex Porter has a few words for his team. I've got to grab him, one of the team managers, Yayan Lam, a former England international and professional player abroad.
part of the coaching set of Freddie Fairbairn. All of the coaching team here at the University of Nottingham will be proud of the team they have produced, the work, the scholarship programme, and everything involved in what makes the University of Nottingham who they are. They, well, they can add a new title to that name. They are now the Butt Big Wednesday Men's Champion. Do bear with us a few minutes as we'll be getting the presentation completed very shortly. So do join us back in a couple of minutes for the presentation. Welcome back to the coverage here, live around the world of the Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance. This has been the men's championship final. Nottingham taking on Essex in this competition. Nottingham saw out East London and Durham in the semi-finals. Essex took out Northumbria and Newcastle men to face off here at the Jubilee Sports Centre. For one final game to see who was going to take the title. The game started off at a blistering pace. Pressure right from the get-go for the green and gold. With the home support here booming. And the University of Nottingham took the first set 25-11. Shell-shocked University of Essex started the second set with a slight advantage of two points. But then University of Nottingham just applied the pressure again from the service line. Big attack from Gollan, Lucas and Santoyo with a sneaky middle attack from Fahadi and Fernandez sneaking in. Taking the second set 25-11. But the third set was very different. The, ball, the, serving, the serving pattern from Nottingham not as strong. But the pass in from Team Essex much better. The University of Essex also getting more attacks down the center more balls in for fraser to be able to use they took the third set 25 21 thinking they've got a chance to get into a fifth set here university of nottingham started off with a blistering pace yet again power eight serves from ben lucas and then towards the end more aces from tristan santoya and just outplaying and outpowering the university of essex taking that fourth set 25 10 and a game by three sets to one well, in this sellout capacity arena here at the Jubilee Sports Centre, just round the corner from the David Ross Sports Centre, we bring a close to the volleyball action with the presentation of the Bucks Big Wednesday Men's Championship Final, powered by New Balance. So, University of Essex lining up. They'll be receiving their runners-up medals before we present the championship medals and the winning trophy to the captain.
our presentation party. We'll be handling the presentation will be our Olympian from London 2012 and a member of the England senior coaching staff, Rachel Hutt. All players will be receiving their Bucks medals. University of Essex, first of all. all. The team's just been introduced to the arena by Brad, our in venue announcer. Rachel getting a well deserved round of applause. She plays it quite shy, but she's not really. So the presentation now. First of all, acknowledgement for our two referees. A good job done by these gentlemen. And now the runners up of the 2022 Bucksmith Wednesday Championship Final. They are the University of Okay, so the MVP player of the match is Ben Lucas. All smiles from the England senior, the number six. Runs off with his presentation. A well deserved player of the match in this final. Now we've got the University of Essex. Ewan Fraser, Connery De Libro, Max Norton Steele, Mark Ramsoff, Thomas Jefferson. Aaron Chambers had a great game for Essex. Ben Osborne. Savas, Constantino, solid in the middle. Christian Ayano, Aldrin Reyna just coming on for a couple of points. Yusuf Butts, Jacob Jones. Alex Chinnery as assistant coach and just making way past the camera there. Former England international, Alex Porter, head coach of the University of Essex. They are your runners-up of the Bucks Big Wednesday Men's Championship Final. <laughs> Commiserations. The game was played in great spirit, with great energy. But as always, unfortunately, there has to be one runner-up and one winner. Unfortunately, this year, the runners-up are the University of Essex. And now to the winning team, the green and gold. The home team of University of Nottingham with a huge crowd supporting them. Ruben Fernandez, number three. David Hodgson, number five. Your MVP, Benjamin Lucas, number six. Benjamin Gladstone didn't quite get on court today. Iraj Safi, No Golan, Tristan Santoyo. Matt Wright, Charlie Flanders, Ryan Akram, Saruz Fahadi, and the captain Adam Addy. Adam Addy wanted the trophy. He's not waiting for the assistant coaches to get their, their medal or anything. He's gone straight in with the trophy, and they are your champions of the Bucks Big Wednesday, powered by New Balance men's championship finalists they are the university of nottingham smiles all round from the green and gold well-deserved victors they earned that victory through hard work now they're going to move and have their picture taken in front of the nottingham fans so, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to a close here of the coverage in Nottingham of the Bucks Big Wednesday competition at the Jubilee Sports Centre. We wish you a lovely evening. We hope you enjoyed the coverage, and we look forward to bringing you more Bucks, ac Bucks action very soon. Until then, have a safe journey and good night.